Welcome to the Age of Jeremy YouTube channel. My name is Jeremy Quintanilla. If this is your first time joining this channel, I would really recommend that you subscribe so you're notified whenever I'm doing anything on YouTube. I would really, really greatly appreciate it. This is a YouTube channel of all of the trials and tribulations that I go through as I own my businesses. If you don't know, I own a business called 3 Wear Academy. I own a business called Age of Radio. And I also own a business called Merlin, which is the smartest way to track your crypto. And that is out right now. Head on over to MerlinCrypto.com or click the link in the episode description so you can get your 30-day free trial. But enough about that. What are we going to be talking about today? I'm going to be talking about the death on Goku Mon Island. About a year ago, I started reading a bunch of books. It was a book list that I put together, but as time would have it, or as I guess the trials and tribulations would have it, I um, am still working through those books, and more importantly, Saishi Yokomizo books um, by Pushkin Vertigo. They started releasing more of them, so I added those into my um, repertoire or into my book reading list, I guess you would say, and because of that, um, I haven't gotten as far as I wanted to in my book reading list. Um, and so if you want to kind of get an update of where I am right now, I am reading Thomas Mann's Budenbrooks. But I finished Saishi Yoko Mizu's Death on Gokumon Island about, I want to say, four or five months ago. In fact, I read the book after this. I even did a YouTube short on the order in which to read them. Um, but if you're not familiar with uh, who Saishi Yoko Mizu is, um, he is a Japanese uh, mystery writer. He wrote a very famous book called The Honjin Murders uh, back during his uh, life or his time period, which it looks like was, I want to say, in the 70s, it looks like. So the original text, Saishi Yoko Mizu, 1971. 1996, it looks like, was the first English translation. Um, and so there's actually an anime that takes place um, with the uh, character in here. His name is um, Kosuki Kondaichi. In Kosuki Kondaichi, there is a Kondaichi detective series that's an anime um, that you can check out if you have Crunchyroll. And I don't have a Crunchyroll link or anything like that, but if you head on over to Crunchyroll, you can get it. Uh, there's a free version and there's a bunch of ads that go along with it, um, but you can pay. I, I have the paid version and I don't have any ads, so you can check that out. But essentially, uh, but essentially, uh, in this book, it's it kind of takes place following the Honjin murders, and that's why I recommend that you read this one right after the Honjin murders is the Death on Gokumon Island because they reference some of the... Uh, concepts and some of the relationships that Kensuke Kandaichi, the main detective in these novels, had um, in the Honjin murders. So essentially, I don't want to give a bunch of secrets away about this book because it's a murder mystery. And so uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to read the back of it and then I'll tell you my thoughts on it. Um, so the rock-bound and forbidden Gokumon Island was once a pirate stronghold. Now it is home to a clannish fishing community dominated by two feuding families, when Kensuke Kandaichi or Kasuki Kandaichi arrives bringing news of a death, it triggers a series of grotesquely staged murders. This scruffy detective attempts to untangle the island's secrets and stop the killings, but a fresh mystery seems to greet him at every turn, and soon he falls under suspicion himself. The fiendish death on Goku Mond Island is one of the best-loved classic murder mysteries by the master of Japanese crime, Praise for Yoko Mizu Mysteries, Golden Age Crime at its best from the spectator, and readers will delight in the blind turns, red herrings, and dubious adibis, says The Economist. I did not know The Economist did book, I guess I knew that they did book reviews, I guess I didn't realize that they did book reviews for murder mysteries. Maybe they did do that on their website, but it has been a while since I have gotten the actual physical um, in the mail. So, uh, that being said, um, one of the things that I liked about this was the ingeniousness, ingenuity, ingen, ingenious, the smartness, uh, the way in which uh, Yoko, uh, Saishi Yoko Mizo uh, created the deaths that take place in it. So I really liked the deaths that he used in this for the murders. I thought that that was one of the most interesting parts for me. Um, I also liked how Kasuki Kandaichi kind of gets... Um, gets is as a main suspect in these murders because he's arriving on this island based off of something based off of a relationship that he had um, during his time in World War II, which is one of the other things that I really liked about the book was that obviously in World War II, 
I'm an American. I live in the United States, in Arizona. And uh, being an American, um, the Japanese were the bad guys in World War II. So being a, um, looking at uh, uh, it from the perspective of them going to war on behalf of Japan was very interesting for me, especially from a fictional stamp, from a, in a fictional book about a character that was in the war. So he ends up going to World War II, I believe it is, um, fighting on behalf of the Japanese um, for when this book takes place. And then based off of a relationship that he meet, gets in World War II, he does something that then leads him to Gokumon Island. Um, and then there's a string of deaths around this this family and this household that's there, and he has to find them. Um, so that was one of the things that I liked. I also like that he tends to do, um, in, in, in at least in this book and the one that's after, which I've read that I'm not going to talk about in this video, but he tends to like looking at the, like, the relationships within small towns. And so Gokumon Island is a small fishing town. And so I think that he does a really, really good job on building, uh, on creating the, uh, the environment uh, of the, the fishing island and the characters that are in that fishing island and how they relate. And he does that even better in the village of eight graves, which is the one I'll, I'll um, do a video for here soon after this one. Uh, but those are some of the things that I really liked. And I also liked that there's a lot of Buddhist um, and Shinto, um, native uh, ritual concepts that were inside of the book. And so for me, uh, being an advocate for anthropology and religion and spirituality and things like that, I like having those, those, I like seeing those elements inside of the book. And then also too, because we're, I'm a Westerner, you know, a lot of when I'm reading, you know, when I read murder mysteries or books, a lot of it has to do with Christian Christianity or Catholicism or things like that built in because that is like our history here in the United States. And so having that type of history inside of the, this type of, you know, fictional book, I thought was really interesting being that it's from Japan. So being able to see, you know, how they still take those religious concepts being the main religious concepts. And then they're tying, he's tying them in to the everyday life of the people that are in this society. And then he's utilizing those, also, when it comes to the murders and why and how the murders are taking place. And I thought that that was really, really interesting. Um, if I had to rate this between the Honja murders, in my opinion, this one um, was was overall, I think, better than the Honjin murders. I liked the the relationship of the family in the Honjin murders a little bit better um, and what went into that piece. It also, in the Honjin murders, you're getting introduced to Kasuki Kandaichi. And so I like how they introduced Kasuki Kandaichi in that. Um, but one of the things that I liked about this was he's kind of at the forefront of it because he's arriving on the island based off of something that happened to him with a relationship. And I don't want to, in World War II, and I don't want to give that away. I think it was World War II. I don't think it was World War I. But I think, yeah, I was pretty sure it was World War II. Um, and again, I haven't read this for a while. But I think that you should definitely go pick it up. Pushkin Vertigo is doing a great job. They have, uh, I have um, two other ones still to read. Um, and they are in a total of five books, I believe, that they have released so far. And Pushkin Vertigo also does a bunch of other books. Um, so you should definitely check them out. There will be a link in the episode description to Pushkin Vertigo, Vertigo to check this book out. And then from there, you can go to Amazon and buy it if you want. But I would definitely pick this up. But remember, read The Honjin Murders first before you go into the death of Goku Mond Island. All right, well, I appreciate all of you. Thank you. Uh, remember, I always say Namo Mita Butsu. Make sure that you follow me on all social media channels at Age of Jeremy, except on X, it's at Age of Jeremy Q. And on Facebook, it is Cesar Jeremy Quintanilla for some reason. And again, check out the episode links or the, the links in the de episode description below. And I always say be thankful, grateful, and kind. And we'll talk to you next time. Bye.